Hello everyone, welcome to Pipe Engineer. Today, we would like to introduce you a great tool to help to size your open channel. For open channel flows, typically we use many equations to uh, evaluate the hydraulic performance. In 1960s, uh, Mr. T.R. Camp has proposed a different method, modified from many equation, uh, to improve the accuracy when it comes to open channel pipe. For this tool, we do offer both options, uh, but we do recommend the CAMP method over many uh, method, uh, only because the CAMP method has considered the flow depth, and um, that will improve the uh, calculation. Okay, let's take a look. Um, so this tool can help you to do two things. Either you have a pipeline uh, has been installed in place, you know the slope, you know the size of the pipeline, but you would like to figure out the capacity. Or you don't have that pipeline, but you know the design flow rate, and you know the slope you can, you can uh, slope available, and you would like to size the pipeline. Let's take a look at the first scenario. So um, let's say you have, uh, so the first here, this is for the, the second case. So the first thing you're gonna choose is to use many method or can method, like we suggested. We suggest the many method. So the default um, actually input is camp method. Uh, unless you really uh, prefer to use many method, we do recommend that you keep this selection. And then the next input is for full pipe many roughness coefficient. So we have some typical values you can use. Uh, the typical values depends on the type of the pipe. So in this case, let's say we have a steel pipe. Um, so let's change this to 0.012. And hydraulic slope, um, we can assume the bottom of the pipe, uh, the slope is, let's say 3%. So let's put a 0, uh, 0.03 as the slope. And the pipe inside diameter, let's say we this pipeline is about 24 inch. Um, so internal diameter, let's say roughly 23rd inch. And the fluid depth is, um, you can either know the fluid depth, you want to know the actual flow rate, or you want to, um, um, check the actual capacity. So the full pipe flow rate here is about 17,000 gallon per minute. So you can use this as the capacity, but please know that actually when the maximum flow is achieved at about 93% of full pipe flow, not actually full pipe flow. So that's why a lot of times you, if you play um, the fluid depth, you will find actually when there's a full pipe, um, is actually less than the, the maximum. You get actual flow when it's not full, is actually more than the, uh, f the full pipe flow rate. But anyhow, so this is how you can use the slope available, the size, you can get an idea of what's gonna be the flow rate to make sure this can handle your uh, design conditions. And we just wanna point it out that sometimes, right now is showing as a uh, gallon per minute, if you want to change the uh, units to uh, cubic feet per second, which is also pretty common in uh, for open channel pipeline, you can just change it here. So uh, that will help you to change the, the units here. Okay, so let's take a look at another scenario that you know the design flow rate. You don't have a, a line size yet. Uh, you, you know the slope available to install this open channel pipeline. And uh, then you can use the design flow rate input here. Uh, let's say you want to design this pipeline to, um, like I say, 10 cubic feet, cubic feet per second, right? You still keep the camp method. Uh, it's a steel pipe. Let's say it's, let's say it's, a, it's a PE pipe, right? Let's, let's change it to, let's say this is a PE pipe and the slope available is only 1%, okay? And then what you can do is to change the pipe internal diameter to make sure that you, uh, you can achieve this um, design flow rate. Like say, assume this is the maximum flow rate. So in this case, if you use a 24 inch, like it's 23rd, 23rd inch internal uh, diameter, 
you see there's a quite a bit of capacity left. Uh, you probably can go a little bit smaller and say you can try 617. You have more rooms, 16, and pot potentially let's say 15. 15, okay, so that doesn't work. It's too small. Let's like say 16.5, 16 maybe 15.5, okay. So, like I said, we can play with it, and, and this fluid depth will calculate it for you based on the um, a design flurry that you put it in. And here is uh, the output will uh, gonna be pretty similar that it will run this calculation and also tell you the full uh, flow rate, um, full pipe flow rate. This is basically the pipe capacity. So this is how you size uh, a line when you know the flow rate and of course, when everything is done, uh, you can also generate a, a PDF report, put it on your uh, typical information for your project dates, revision, and who develop it, who review it. And then you can have a PDF report generated uh, based on your inputs, uh, the calculation results, and um, you can save it for your so if you want to change the, if you only know the units in gallon per minute, you can also change to gallon per minute. All you need to do is to use this drop down and select the gallon per minute and everything should be shown in gallon per minute. And you can change it here to um, use a gallon per minute if that's preferred. Also, if you want to use metric system, you just need to use the tab on the top click metric and for metric we use cubic meter per second this is a pretty typical unit used uh, then you can use this to size your pipeline let's say 0.1 cubic meter per second and then you can probably use a smaller pipeline also this is going to be in millimeter now uh, so let's say you can probably try 300 um, probably potentially 280 so as long as your pipes internal diameter is more than this then you you should be covered okay at the same time if you generate a PDF report everything should be in metric um, unit right now okay that's everything about this tool uh, if you have any suggestions or questions please leave us a message through our website our website is www.pipeng.com thank you